Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Um, I post, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff on Patreon. You can support me. It's like two bucks, and it helps me out a lot. Um, and as well, uh, you can reach out to me on Discord or something. I try and get back to everyone. And today we're going to be doing Degree of an Array. A lot of dislikes. There's some likes, too. More likes than dislikes. But, um... Let's see. Degree of an array. Given a non-empty array of negative, non-negative integers. Okay, so positive integers. Given a non-empty, non-negative. Why not just, yeah, I don't know. Non-negative. How about positive? Given an array of non-empty uh, and non-negative integers, nums, the degree of the array is defined as the maximum frequency of any one of its elements. Okay, so... You know, like um, like the mode of the array, like it, the the max occurrences of uh, like in this array, like one, two, two, three, one. What occurs the most? Well, there's two twos and two ones, so the degree would be two. I mean, it literally says that the input array has a degree of two. Um, so what do we want to do? Your task is to find the smallest possible length of a contiguous subarray, meaning the elements are next to each other in the subarray. Um, of nums that has the same degree as nums. Okay, so we want to find a subarray that has the same degree. So, for example, um, this subarray right here, 2, 2, that has the same degree. That has a degree of 2. Um, because the max occurring element has uh, appears twice. So the degree is 2 in this subarray. And it's contiguous because they're next to each other. This is, um, you can't, these are not next to each other, so that's not a subarray that's contiguous. But that would have a degree of 2 if we were able to do the first and the last element. But you can only do this, and that's a length of 5, so we want the smaller length, so we do 2. So I think that makes sense. In this case, we have, um, let's go through one more case. Um, we're looking at, we have 1, 2, 1s, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 2s. So the degree is 3. Now we want the small, the length of the smallest subarray with... A degree of six uh, degree of three so we look here this has a degree of three right because there's three twos but its length is one two three four five six seven but we can go cut that first element out look now it's six we still have a degree of three because there's three twos boom smaller so we just want the minimum so to do this um, we're going to use a hash map. I mean, it's almost pretty easy. It is an easy problem. It's pretty easy. I think the problem people have with it is they don't understand the problem. But once you know, you could do this pretty easy. We want to know the num. We want to know the degree of the array, right? So we want to know the number of times each element occurs, and we'll have a maximum and just upgrade. We'll just update a max. Like the degree will be the um, number of times the maximum occurring element occurs you know so we'll just set that up you know what i mean like we'll just say int degree is equal to zero and we'll loop through the numbers nums.length i plus plus it's kind of just breaking this problem down into two parts but yeah you're looping through the numbers and you're going to say okay um we'll have a hash map to keep track of the count of each number so we'll say like integer integer um, num counts and we'll I don't know if you guys have ever used a hash map to do this it's pretty standard but you do like okay num counts dot put and then you put the current element so nums of i and num counts dot get or default this will basically uh, get the current count that's in there for that array or it'll just say zero because we just saw it for the first time uh, plus one. So what this does is this has a hash map where the key is the current number. We're looping through the array. Like in this example, we go one, two, three, two, three, one. But we're going to put the number in the hash map. We're going to say, okay, we see one, put it in the hash map. If it's not in the hash map, then we, because it says get or default, we get the, if it was in the hash map, we get the current count, how many times we've seen it before. If not, we just say zero, and then we add one, because it's the first time. So we say, okay, if we haven't seen it, then we put the number in with one. We saw it one time. And then we keep looping. We see two. We put two in with one time. Then we see two. We Two was already in there, so we say, okay, get 
the value for two. It's already one, so we do one plus one. That's two. We saw two twice. The num counts just keeps track of the count, the current number, and the top number of times we've seen it. Now, after we put it in with the updated count, we could just say, okay, if num counts dot get nums of i is greater than the degree, then we update the degree. You know what I mean? We're because the degree by definition is the max occurrences, the max occurring character, the number of times that char that uh, number occurs. Like, you know what I mean? The degree is two because there's two numbers that occur two times and that's the maximum times uh, the number occurs. So if uh, if we see a new max, we just update the, the, the degree and we say, okay, degree is equal to num counts dot get nums of i. Boom. So you just update it. Now, how do we know the minimum length of a subarray that has that degree? That's a little bit more difficult. But it's not too difficult because all we have to do is keep track of the first time we see each number. So we do this because if we see um, a two, we're looping through. If we keep a track the first time we see the number and then we get to the end of, um, we're looping through the array and we say, okay, two has become the max. You know what I mean? Like one is there, then two. Okay, two is now the degree. So two is now the maximum number. When did we see it first? Oh, we saw it here. Then we just take the current position to when it becomes the maximum and subtract it from the first time we've seen it. And we found that subarray right there of between the time it became the max and the time that we saw it um, so that we can find that you know minimum subarray for... Um, you know, that'll be the minimum subarray. That's just from the, you know, that's the minimum subarray right there. So um, we need a hash map to store the first count, first scene counts as well. So we could just make that here. We could say, uh, actually, let's keep these separate. Let's do hash map integer integer where we say first scene. So we're going to be filling this hash map up with... Um, and then we'll have a variable called min length for them. That's what we're trying to find here, right? The minimum length of a contiguous subarray. So we'll just return that at the end. But we're going to put the first, where we see, when we see a new number, we just do first scene dot put if absent. So if we already see it, then if there's already value for this number in the hash map, we're not going to update, update it or put into it. But if it's the first time we see a number, like when we first see one, we mark down the index we saw it at. So we put I the number and then the index so that we know when we find the maximum occurring number we can just update that minimum length is going to be updated to oh it's going to be updated to the uh, current index minus the first in the index we saw that number at because that would be the minimum contiguous subarray between first time we saw it and the time it became the max like the time it became the degree of the array like that makes sense right um so there you go you just do first scene dot get nums of i and then you have to add one because these are indices and you need to do the length so we've been doing it by indexes and you'll know that uh length is indexes plus one so um, there's only one other option here is that, you know, it could be equal to the de degree, which gets a little bit tricky, but it's not too difficult. So if we find a number that's equal to the degree, we want the minimum. We don't even have to update the a we don't even have to update the degree because it's the same. We just want to check for the minimum between the current min length subarray of the last element that was the degree and the contiguous subarray length of the um, element that we're now seeing as the degree. So we don't even have to update the, the degree. We just want to check for maybe the, the, this number that we're seeing um, has a smaller contiguous subarray from the first occurrence. So we just do first scene dot get nums of i uh, plus one, just the length of that subarray. And then that should be it. Yeah, those are the only two options here. You loop through, boom, linear loop. You do need space for this problem. 
to uh, make it linear. So you're just looping through the array. You're filling up. One more time to get through everything. You just loop. You make these hash maps. One of them keeps track of each number and how many times it occurs in the array. One of them keeps track of each number in the index we first saw it at. You loop through each element number by number. You put the first occurrence of the element by index into the hash map. And then you also put the count of each element. You keep updating it as we go through. When the count of the element we're currently at is greater than the degree, we increase the degree because we found a new max occurring number. That's the definition of degree in this case. When we update the degree, we want to check that the length of the contiguous subarray, because we have to include that that is the degree we're looking for in a subarray, we want to update it to the current index we're updating the max at, the degree at, and the first occurrence of that number, because that is, by definition, also the minimum length of the contiguous subarray that contains the same degree. Um, if it's the same degree, then we don't update to the degree. We just check against the current min length. Maybe the new the number that has matched the degree um, in occurrences is has a you know is closer together. Like in the case of this, the twos have the same count as the ones, but the twos are closer together. So you know when we hit the second two, we do i minus you know, the first scene, and then you get this length, compared to when you hit this one, you do, okay, the first scene is all the way over here, so this length is longer, so it doesn't get updated. So that's the whole problem. I think I explained it as well as I could. Let me know if you have any questions, and I appreciate you guys for watching. I love you guys. My channel is growing. It's all thanks to you guys. My life is, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't have that many subscribers yet, but maybe it'll get, you know, we'll see where this thing goes. So thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.